A lot of people hate on the wealth management industry because they feel like they can do better without paying fees. There's lots of truth to that, such as investing in exchange traded funds through companies like Vanguard, investing into robo advisors, into you know, lower cost platforms. However, if you're investing into a lower cost exchange traded fund or a lower cost robo advisor or wealth management platform, you're not getting any customization. And what I mean by that is you're gonna be in the same exact portfolio as every other person that has the same risk tolerance that you choose when you sign up with that person or that company that is running that service. So with wealth management, the whole idea about wealth management is to prevent you from doing something silly when it comes to your investments and to help you find opportunities that you don't even know are out there in the markets. One of the things that we do is invest in the software that's called Build Alpha. A friend of mine named David Bergstrom came out with this software and it helps us identify companies to potentially we put into our portfolio it's like basically having a analyst on staff but it's an ai analyst so it's analyzing data and then giving us recommendations where we need to look in terms of placing capital for our clients or if we need to move out of one investment to the other however you don't want to fully trust the technology you have to make sure you know the basics of investing to do your due diligence before making investment changes because ultimately you don't want to be shifting out of one investment to the other or just make change for the sake of making change for example Back in 2022, the technology sector really got beaten down. So we decided to move our clients into more well-established technology companies, as long as their risk profile allowed for it. Moving forward to 2024, which is the time I'm making this video, technology has skyrocketed, and we believe that it's probably a bit overvalued. So right now we're not really adding more money to technology, but we're looking to add money into other places that has been lagging over the last couple of years, because you can't keep doing the same thing when it comes to investing and expect the same results because unless I'm missing something there hasn't been an investment in history that's just gone straight up and has never come back down because that's not how investing works ultimately if you take advantage and you buy something at a really good price that's great however as you're saving and investing more money just because something was a good investment in the past doesn't mean it's the best investment for you today